Our health segment is brought to you. No, we're talking. We were, we were doing a little health <laughs> segment on the break. Talking with Shannon Willis here, and he's here to talk about the Buffalo River Bluegrass Fest. That, that's a yearly event, or do you, it do you is. do it three or four times a year? Uh, no, just one. <laughs> this <laughs> is uh, 17 years, I think. 17 I was just years. a kid when we started doing that, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you were kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're kidding about being a kid, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it has gone by off quick. Yeah. Really that, were you were you there in the beginning? Yeah, we we started out with an old uh, the guy gave us uh, an old fifth wheel and we stripped it down and uh, uh, made us a portable stage out of it and then eventually we got us a permanent stage. And, well, where's that fifth wheel now? Uh, I don't know. I think we gave it to somebody. Gave it to somebody. Yeah, we made a just a board and put a plank floor in it and yeah. it worked pretty good for yeah. three or four years. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. Now, do you have a permanent stage? We do. It's yeah. grown. At the park. At mm -hmm. the park, yes. at Bradley Park, mm -hmm. down there in Jasper. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful park. It is. It, yeah. It's really pretty. It's it's lush and green and got a nice swimming hole. And I tell people, I say, well, come two or three days early and bring a fishing pole. A good catfish hole in there. Yeah. Yeah. If, uh -huh. if, if I lived in Jasper, I'd probably be down there every day. They, uh, it, it, it really is. It's, it's, really, it's really pretty there. Yeah. So when is this event? Uh, September 6th, 7th, and 8th this year. Okay. Uh, Thursday, Friday, That's Saturday, after Labor Day on now. Monday. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've got a long list of uh, acts that, are, that you want to talk we about? We do. Uh, Thursday night course is all gospel. And most of those are, are local. We've got Unashamed and uh, Brush Arbor, Caps Grass, uh, New Highway, and then Spanky, the one I've been trying to get over here for all these oh, okay. years, he get he's got a group together that they they do some a lot of gospel singing. Okay. And it's it's really they really have some uh, good singing there. And then Friday night is the Hartley Family Southern Tradition Gravel Yard Interstate 30 Possum Trot Bluegrass is on Friday. And then Saturday we have uh, a Saturday afternoon show and uh, Saturday night and that is uh, Family River Boys Highway 36 Cody Norris. Joe and Stacy Isaac and the Possum Trot and, and Joe uh, Isaac is the uh, papa of the Isaacs that are they're pretty much pretty famous I guess mm -hmm. worldwide pretty much I guess but anyway he's he's the dad and then this year uh, I don't know uh, anything about him we've got a guest band coming in from 12 to 1 on Saturday afternoon it's called Twang it's an all girl string band. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, some of the guys that heard them said they were really good. They okay. want to come down and audition, and oh. and if they uh, sound real good, maybe we'll have them back we'll have next them back. year. Yeah. yeah, good deal. And they may be headlining next year. Well, that's a possibility. You yeah. never know. And of course, we've kept our rates down. Uh, three day pass, twenty five bucks, uh, and you get to watch. Uh, this year, you get to watch twenty one shows for. $25, wow. that's, that's pretty dirt that's, cheap. Yes, that yeah, is, dirt that's cheap, really cheap. Sure. And uh, we've still got several hookups. It's just first come. Uh, that's, You're talking uh, about RV hookups? RV hookups. Mm -hmm. We have some 30-amp, 50-amp hookups. We have water available, and then we have a dump station. It's really pretty, pretty place to come park. Mm -hmm. We've got several people now that's coming a week early, and, and, and they do a lot of jamming now. Uh, they finally have... They'll come in from all over and do that. We have some of this comes to do. That's all they do is come that's and jam. That's all they do, yeah. yeah. They love jamming. Well, and can people just meander around and, sure. and listen yeah. to the jamming going on? Yeah, if it's different group, bring your lawn chair and, and yeah. if you want to sit down. It's kind of like being at Mountain View. You know, you've got, we don't have as many different yeah. groups, but we'll have yeah. several. Yeah. They get together and Well, you've got a great thing. lineup. I mean, we three, really do. it's a three-day event for $25. Yeah. That seems like a and all And all, uh, all of these groups are really good. We've had some of them before, some of them we hadn't. Uh, Cody Norris, he's out of uh, Mountain City, Tennessee. He's been on Grand Ole Opry, and uh, he, he works nationwide into Canada. And, and I went and seen him this summer. That's what we were talking about earlier. Went yeah, to his house. Yeah. He lives in Mountain City, Tennessee, and we went to his house to visit with him, and and they really put on a good show. He's added uh, uh, the lady that he has there with him now, his fiance, oh. the fiddle player, and she can oh. play that fiddle. She is really a super mm -hmm. addition to the show. Well, good. Good and, deal. Uh, they good. they really they really do good. Highway 36 is really good. Well, we they all are. Uh, uh, now Joe Isaacs I had never heard before. 
Uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, Highway 36, I have Fanny River Boys. They're out of, uh, uh, I think around Little Rock, Benton, somewhere down in there. And we've ha we had them before one time. They're really good. And Highway 36 is out of uh, around Conway area. They, they really put on a good okay. show. That's and, pretty good. Uh, RV hookups is $15 a night. And uh, so... We're we're looking forward to it. And, Shows you're gonna gonna have a quilt giveaway and and door we, prizes. Yeah, right? we do that. We we have uh, door prizes in between shows and and okay. then we always have a traditional quilt drawing tell, that we do. Tell us about the food vendors. You have we'll food have vendors? we have food vendors there. Uh, got the same one coming back from last year. He he really he has uh, usually two trailers and he does catfish and mm. uh, gosh all kinds of burgers and burritos and just about anything all kinds of drinks and okay. uh, nice. desserts and things so it's really you don't have to go away hungry you don't have of course, to go away okay in between shows if you're going to do it we've got you know the restaurants downtown ozark cafe right. and uh oh yeah uh, the other one on the corner there's two of them one on the corner uh, they'll they stay do busy. really well yeah. uh ozark has been i think they've been on the list gosh for ages for they at one time they were uh listed as the one of the top Restaurants in State Park. Well, that's a good good place to eat. Yeah, it is. And then the one on the corner, they're they're really uh, doing really well. Where the old post office used to be, yeah. the old mm -hmm. rock building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they we and of course we we have them all listed in their in their uh, magazine. Uh, all of our can can people pick this up somewhere? Yeah, we'll you, have we'll have the hand those out, out and then I've the been show. putting some of them out along with the flyers that okay. you guys have got. And right, we we post those flyer. all over town. And. You know, for more information, there's a website listed here. There that's is. what they need to go to, www.ozarkmountains.com. Yeah, and that's it. The uh, that's the chamber, and then buffaloriverbluegrass.com. Okay. They can pick that up. I don't, I don't think they put that on I don't there. See then that on here. My phone number and Spanky's and Patsy Edmund, she's her secretary. They can call any of us, too. All right. And we can give them the information if they need to do that. Shannon, thanks so much. We thanks enjoy so and appreciate, appreciate you guys. And we'll do that do health. This. We'll do that health segment some other day. Okay, that's it. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll talk about your weight and what you're mm -hmm. eating and, and all that. Well, it's your it's, elimination process. All of it. You got a cookbook it's coming out, don't you? Out. A cookbook. You got a cookbook. I, I wish Shannon's I, cookbook. I, yeah, well, I need to. <laughs> What I eat, that's the name of what I eat. Mm, yeah, but that I don't think nobody <laughs> want to follow that. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Thank you very much. That Appreciate event. it. That's events coming up September 6th, 7th, and 8th down at Bradley Park in Jasper. Check that out. Bluegrass music. All three days. Thanks. All three. Thank you. Up next, Leo Chilson is here, and he's uh, got a uh, book that he's uh, uh, published, and it's gonna be, he's going to have a book signing at the Boone County Library. We'll find out all about that and all the other information that Leo wants to share with us in just a few minutes. Stay with us.